Annyeong everyone, today I'm here in Ford Global City and this is the newest 7th generation Ford Mustang. This is the 2.3 EcoBoost version. It's the 4-cylinder one, costs $3,499,000. So if you want to purchase this one, please look for Jericho. In our channel, we say, Shija. Let's see what's under the hood. The struts. Yeah, it doesn't have the twin throttle body, but it has a engine bracket. But yeah, uh, it sure needs, it can have a bigger power plant if ever, but 319 PS and 475 Newton. Even for a 2.3 liter EcoBoost, you have a 475 Newton. Oh my goodness. So it also still has rear wheel drive with uh, limited slip differential sulit car but if you have 500,000 peso more to shed you might as well get the gt premium but then what would differ the speed and the fuel consumption and the sound of the exhaust but you can just buy this and maybe you can put a premium exhaust system then it will also make the car loud if you have been watching me, you know this is my favorite color. Anything that has blue, I like it. And this Mustang looks so good in this color. And what you can also do with your key fob that has a Mustang, Ferrari, Mustang, Bronco. And what's nice about this Mustang is it has engine remote start. So lock and twice. Yon. looks really good and of course it comes with two variants let's turn it off two clicks to turn on one click to turn off first of all the difference with the premium the premium has a hood vent right here and also there's a divider right here but it also has the same lights just like this EcoBoost model right here and when we move to the side the Brembo brakes 25540R19 just the same but it doesn't have the 5.0 badge see the Mustang is there and the rear P0 also 25540R19 the gas cap is on the left side and it has easy fuel if you press that there you can even use 91 octane so what's nice about the 7th generation Mustang is it has Brembo brakes for the front and the rear. And the difference with the GT model, it's really the engine. Very little aesthetic. Especially uh, this one is the most obvious one. When you have the premium one, it says GT and it says their performance. While this one has a pony, still has a quad tip exhaust. Unlike the 6th generation, the rear fog lamp and the reverse lamp rear sensors you all have them shared together with the gt1 same subwoofer bang and offset and the tire repair kit and all that so sequential as well let's go inside and check out more really sweet because it has keyless entry system and look we have the same recaro seats same illuminating step sill very similar door panel as well and inside we do have a lot of digital screen just like the gt as well so for a 500,000 peso difference what would you get this or the gt let me know in the comment section below so it's a two plus two two door sports car okay here in the cockpit almost the same paddle shifter light control the finishing even here, although the GT, I think it didn't have the engine on and off. It was blank here, but this one has the start button, the volume dial. Oh, it doesn't have a charge pad. That's weird, <laughs> right? It should have 10 speed, automatic transmission, e parking brake, complete set of ADA system, even for this lower variant. The sun visor also extends just like the GT. It also has 
sunglass case, auto dimming room mirror. There's a USB A port here at the back of the room mirror as well. Two cup holders. It also has ambient light control. Even the headliner is in black. So almost the same. So let's start the car. There. Even the light auto leveling, same as the previous one or the same as the GT one. So right now we can actually press the pony. When it starts up, it takes a while for it to start up. There, it started up. All the air condition controls are here now instead of having it here. So when you press the pony, you will see a lot of different modes for this Mustang. It's taking a while for the infotainment system to actually fire up. But right now it's fired up, silent mode. Normal mode, sport mode, track mode. So even for this one, I think we can hear good sound. Let's floor it. So it's a lot different from the GT Premium, but still you can feel the power even if it's just four cylinder, right? So you can also have different stuff to do here uh, so my Mustang you can go auxiliary gauges but it's weird because for the EcoBoost I don't know why the it must have the same infotainment system but it's uh, behaving slow rather normal sport track drag strip so I'm not sure if we'll have a better sound in this drag strip so the limiter stops the car from going even farther now i'm not sure why the auxiliary gauges are not coming on because it is supposed to come on maybe it's just me but we have different cluster style normal sport track calm and the fox body which you can change the color so the Mustang EcoBoost is for somebody who do not need to have crazy fast car. Like if you want an everyday sports car, you want an everyday Mustang, this might be a better choice for you. I hope you guys learned something from this video. And I was about to leave, but I said this might be gone tomorrow because this is such a limited uh, stock. So. Please come here in Fort Global City and you can purchase this one with Kuya Jericho with more than 25 years of Ford experience. Okay? And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, may your dreams come true, everyone. Bye!